Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another collection video. First things first, uh, now that it's still, you know, I'm pre-summer period, I'm still kind of busy. So I still have not fixed my microphone issues and I apologize for the not so uh, great sound in the last few videos, but I also say it's more important the content than the actual sound in many ways. I hope I will get to it and try to see how I can make this connection work a teeny little better. Uh, yeah, connecting an iPhone to a USB microphone is not the easiest thing uh, with this port that they have. But wearing a European jersey, still having World Cup background up, I said, okay, this is not a uh, this team was not at the is not at the World Cup was at the last World Cup Iceland. But maybe it's time to show you a team that has qualified for a World Cup, but that I haven't shown you before. I have this jersey actually since 2020. It's this Poland 2008 home jersey. Now, frankly, it is as plain as it can get. Uh, but I actually got this for relatively cheap. Um, I do remember this was my, this was pre corona times. We had the. A uh, birthday party of my older daughter and while the kids were playing and you know I had a little bit of time I was scrolling and I see someone selling this Poland jersey I want to say it was for seven or eight and uh, the seller was even living in Linz rather close to me so I immediately said okay can we pick it up can we meet we met I gave the cash and boom I had a Poland jersey which I at this time I was preparing for Euro 2020 I wanted to have for every team a jersey and so this Poland jersey came in in addition um I won you know Euro 2008 jerseys are kind of a soft spot for me because you know this was the Euros that were taking place in my home country where the only Euros where I've uh, seen matches so far so uh it kind of filled in double duty there now, what I like about the Puma jerseys uh, for 2008 is kind of this uh, slight 3D shiny effect that they have here on the back. Although I have to say, although the seller said he bought this in Poland, uh, which I do believe, uh, the Polish Eagle is kind of faded here already. I think there should be a little bit more detail. So it was not, not in the best condition. The other thing, but I didn't realize this until, um, you know, recently. I saw that, um, you know, the one thing with this jersey that really got me is um, I knew that there are two versions. I'm, 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 I'll show you a few versions of this Puma uh, <laughs> temp. That, 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 that this is the one that is uh, not the, with the double layer material, but it's just a single layer, very heavily ventilated uh, ma ma material. But I saw that the Puma cat is actually stitched. If you look at it closer, uh, it's actually stitched, whereas for... Um, the original ones that I bought, so my Austria jersey and I have a Bulgaria jersey, uh, those are um, a kind of rubber uh, on, uh, so rub uh, thick rubber logos that unfortunately for the Austria jersey, as you will see in a sec, uh, it came off. So that was the first thing. And then I, for some reason, I was checking Euro 2008 jerseys when I had this jersey hanging. And I realized the sleeve cuffs are white on this one. Originally, they were red and but it all seems puma it all seems regular i mean it is plain blah 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 it all seems regular um and i compare it to the other puma and it's the same material it's almost same same cut but um even the tag uh, uh checked you know here's the little puma tag even that looked all right to me i could find it until I recently found out, yes, this is the basic version. So there was a basic version sold and I have a suspicion this was mainly sold in Eastern European countries because for my Czech jersey, it has the same trouble. It's the same material, same cut. The Czechs had blue sleeve cuffs, very thin blue sleeve cuffs. This has a red one. So these are both basic versions. Both have the stitched logos and I've shown you this Czech version before. Interestingly enough, I also ordered Bulgaria. This was my first Bulgaria jersey. This is not a basic version, although it's the same material as the Poland jersey. The Bulgaria jersey um, has the same material, but you see here the green sleeve cuffs. You also see here the side striping here in red, uh, in green, which um, I think Poland had it all in white here as far as I remember. It may, may have been in red. I have to check this up. 
But uh, this is this panel here. This uh, uh, this van ventilation panel is totally missing from the basic cut. Uh, and in addition, you see here the rubber Puma logos. And then to uh, finish it, I have here the Austria jersey, the Puma Locats, you know, already came off. Here is the rubber cat, and this is the dual layer material. So yeah, that's interesting. It's also a little nostalgic, nostalgic because I went with this jersey to watch Austria play Poland in this jersey matchup. The only time that Austria played in all red. Uh, yeah, a game that Austria should have led 3 0 and then got an offside goal and then uh, conceded an offside goal and then very late got an equalizer. So, yeah, this is why I also got this one. But yeah, I, I thought it's there isn't much I can talk about this jersey, but it would be it, it is interesting to uh, talk about the differences. Having said that, I'm fine that this is the basic jersey, um, but I am definitely on the lookout for a uh, second Poland jersey. I'm waiting that Nike drops the price. I really like. The ones used for Euro 21, either it be the home or the away, although I prefer the home a slight bit because uh, the um, logo is a little bit better. I also have a soft spot for the Euro 2012 jerseys. Uh, I think they're underrated because they have the Polish flag across uh, the, the, the chest, which makes them nice. But as far as Poland jerseys goes, this one is really nice. Would the Euro 2000 uh, the, uh, and. Um, not Euro, uh, Germany 2006 jersey with the big eagle. Yeah, that would also be nice. But I, you know, this was worn in Austria, so gonna take this one. Was not a successful Euro for Poland, who finished last in the group, uh, losing 2-0 to the to, to the Germans, then 1-1 one, one against Austria, and then uh, also losing to Croatia. So yeah, despite having Leo Benhaka. Um, yeah, that's all I can tell you. I actually have to say, uh, this Federation crest, there's something about it. Although there's still the ball there. Well, maybe. And I like the new one better, but the new one is a little try, 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 try to be new, too modern. Yeah, the ball is, is a little bit a sore spot, but other than that, there's something about it that I like with the wing going up. In any case, please let me know what you think about this jersey, about these uh, three different versions of Puma jerseys <laughs> that I have. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye!